Happy Friday, everyone. I just recently returned from being deployed to Valde, Texas with 11 of our LCC Canine Comfort Dog teams. We were there to bring comfort and to be with the community for the one year remembrance of the shooting at Robb Elementary where 19 children and two teachers lost their lives. We spent time with the victims' families, the teachers, and the community, and we encountered many stories of deep pain, sorrow, anger, regret, and heartbreaking loss. We were there to give care and comfort, but I have to tell you that at times it felt like a small band-aid when so much more seemed to be needed. Each day we gathered together as a team to debrief and share with each other those things that we had seen, the things we heard, and those feelings that we experienced. And as the week went on, that darkness got heavier, and even at times a bit overwhelming. You know, maybe you're feeling that way today. Perhaps you're wondering what difference you can make against such overwhelming darkness in this world. I chose to share the following verse with our team that week, a verse that came to me as I considered this very concept of darkness versus light. From the Gospel of John, the first chapter, verse 5, we hear the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. As I contemplated that verse, I realized that I'd been given the darkness too much power, and I'd been minimizing the illuminating strength of light. While we may not be able to change the darkness of the past, nor fully prevent and stop the darkness that's ahead, we know that Jesus is the light of the world, and He will not be extinguished or stopped. And so we press forward in faith with words of hope, grace, comfort, and encouragement. Today, we can push back against the darkness with acts of kindness. For as Jesus said, you are the light of the world. As we follow Jesus, we are changed by Jesus, and we commit to reflecting the light of Jesus into the darkness. Would you pray with me? Dear Lord, we thank you for this week. And as we go our way into this weekend and look forward into next week, we give you thanks that you are the light of the world that leads us. And as you shine your light into our lives, help us to reflect that light to those around us. Through words of encouragement, grace, hope, comfort, and through acts of kindness. Be with us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.